Hey guys, welcome back to Sip and Dip with Chelsea. For today's video, we're going to be doing some easy Christmas nail art with dip powder and gel products. I'm also going to be doing a dip into kindness story. I haven't done one of those in a while and it feels like it is time with the holiday season. So let's go dive in. I'll be using the shade Chelsea from Color My World Dips. This is part of the collection that we created together, and I have exciting news. She has decided to keep Chelsea as part of her main line, so it's not going anywhere. I'll also be using Color My World Dips odorless liquids. They're amazing. I've preached about these so much. My allergies have been off the charts with this colder, rainy weather, so these really help me out when I start to notice that. I also have peel base on, so this allows me to change up my manicures often without soaking in acetone. Definitely skip this product if you want longevity, so be sure to prep your nails to last if that's what you're wanting. Last little tidbit before we get started, I do have a glove on my dominant hand. That's because I'm working with gel products today that I have never used before, so just to be safe. So if you're new here, Dip Into Kindness is a series that I started where I share feel good stories of everyday people doing amazing things in the world. So this isn't necessarily going to be a dip powder tutorial. I have tons of those on my channel, but I found a story that is just very near and dear to my heart that I wanted to share with you guys. I do want to offer a trigger warning though, because I am going to very briefly touch on NICU babies. So today's story is about a woman named Sarah in Indiana. Her daughter ended up very sick with a virus and spent four months in the NICU. So Sarah started to volunteer at the same hospital to try to help out and she overheard them discussing this idea to offer pampering services to the new moms and dads. It just so happens that she's also a hairstylist. So she donated one of her chairs from her hair salon, got in touch with a distributor who also donated products so that they could offer these services at the hospital. So every Wednesday she volunteers there and she offers scalp massage, a shampoo, a wash, a blow dry for the new moms and dads at the hospital. Sarah explains how most moms who give birth there are at high risk and have babies who need immediate medical support. She knows how sleep deprived that they are and how stressful this situation can be. She also says that she understands that self-care can be medicinal. There are people out there just doing incredible things. If you ever feel like you need a detox from the news, just Google feel good news stories. There was someone who won millions and millions of dollars in the lottery and donated it all. There was a guy who bought a couch on Craigslist and found $36,000 on it and gave it back to the owner. Just incredible things. But the reason I shared this story today with you guys is because it really resonates with me and I feel like it would with you. So a lot of us do nails at home because it's a form of therapy. It is our self-care time. And I know with the holidays right now, it can be hard for a lot of us. So I wanted to share how important self-care can be. If right now doing your nails is what is self-care for you and it gives you a moment to just have time to yourself, then I'm proud of you. And I hope you know how important that time is and you take time for yourself. Take care of yourself. It is just so crucial. I am, I don't talk a lot about this, but I am a very anxious person. And when I do my nails, it makes my brain just stop. It stops those anxious thoughts and it clears my head. This is my me time. And I wanted to just encourage you that if doing your best is doing your nails, that's it. That's all you got done today, then I'm proud of you. Doing your best is gonna look different every single day. And if today that's all you wanna do, then I'm proud of you. And I hope you make that time to do that as well. When I read this story about Sarah and how much she realizes that these new moms just need some self-care time, it just, honestly, I was in tears. I was talking to my girlfriend Marla about it, just crying reading this article because I know how hard it can be as a new mom and not just a new mom, but just in the world, you guys. Like, it's just hard sometimes, especially with the holidays. So this dip into kindness story is for you for my community of DIY nail people out there, if doing your nails is your self-care time, I am so happy for you and I hope you know how important that time is and that you're doing amazing and I am just, I'm proud of you. All right, y'all, we're gonna get back to nails. I hope you know how much you are loved and I'm really, I'm just happy to have you guys here. So I grabbed this set on Amazon. I realized I had no Christmas colors. This was $8, six shades for $8 plus base gel, top coat, 
and a matte top coat. So that's what we're gonna use today. I'm still on the hunt for a good green, so let me know if you have a good green gel. I'll be honest, I pretty much bought this set for this color. It is the most gorgeous classic Christmas red with some sparkle. I actually planned on doing these Christmas candy cane nails with some pink because that's all I had for gel polish. I know, shocker, except no one's shocked. And I'm gonna steer you guys away from that. I really like the non-traditional looks, but you're gonna have to let me know. I thought they looked like little pink worms. Um, my husband said they looked like pink shrimp and my friend said they looked like a certain body part, which I'm not gonna say. So I'll put a picture up here. You could be the judge of that, but definitely, definitely try out your ideas on a swatch stick first before putting it on your nails. I always love gel art with dotting tools because it's so easy. You can see all I'm doing is just putting white dots and red dots on my nail. I thought this gave it such a cute little pop on the nail, but not being overpowering with like in your face Christmas art. Once I'm happy with it, then I do a 60 second cure and we're gonna start on our candy cane nails. I'm also gonna use my dotting tool for this as well. And I start by just doing a U shape, just kind of dragging and floating that red into a U. And then I do a line and that's it. It's super easy. If you've been looking for a very easy Christmas design, this is it. It's very simple shapes to make. And I'm just gonna do that across the nail, just kind of make them look not so perfect. So I'm gonna go in different directions with it and then cure for 60 seconds. All right, I'm all done with my candy canes. So I am going to cure for 60 seconds. And with my Beatles brush, any brush will do. We're just gonna do little swipes on the candy canes to create those stripes. And then I'm gonna add some dots in between with my dotting tool. All right, here is the finished look. We're gonna cure for 60 seconds and now we're gonna do our glitter. So a lot of people ask me when I'm doing gel on top of dip powder if I need that base gel first. I personally don't because I use a 180 grit on the dip powder instead. So if you skip that buffing block, you should not need a base coat. But if you find that your gel polish is peeling off, you can absolutely do a base coat. So do a base coat, cure for 60 seconds, and then do your gel polish or your gel top coat on top. I don't personally find that I need it, but I just wanna put that out there as a suggestion if you find that you do. Look at how stunning this is. It is just so gorgeous. I've never used any of their products, but honestly, I was impressed. I didn't I didn't have any issues with them. They go on very easily, evenly. You can see the color payoff is beautiful. So I'm just gonna do a thin, even layer on the dip powder, using that as my guide, making sure I do not get this on my skin. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds and we're gonna do another layer so we get that full color payoff. The polishes remind me of the Beatles one, so I don't know if you've ever seen those on Amazon, but I love getting smaller options of things, but more colors. That's just where I'm at with my nail journey. I would love more colors than I would of one big product. So I really like that this kit is $8 with so many gorgeous Christmas shades. So now we're gonna go in for that second coat and it's just stunning. The way it sparkles, it's such a classy red with just a hint of glitter. I've also been getting asked a lot about my Christmas cookie curse update. So we haven't made the cookies yet, but I am absolutely planning on it. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to update in a video, but I definitely will in a community post. So stay tuned for that. I have a game plan. I know who I want to give them to. And I'm thinking definitely outside of the neighborhood this time as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave that video linked up above. So now we're gonna do our no wipe top coat and I'm gonna do this on just glitter. I haven't done a combination of matte and glossy nails, but I'm gonna do it today because I feel like a lot of times the art gets lost under glossy. So I'm gonna do matte on my art nails. This gel top coat is a thicker consistency, kind of like builder gel. So I'm going to flip my hand over so that it can float across the nail and have an even surface before curing. 
So I cure for 60 seconds and we're gonna do our matte top coat. This is from Dipalicious Nails. It's their matte velvet gel top coat. I love this because if you've ever worked with matte top coats, you know they can be notorious for showing every imperfection, but this one does such a great job at still giving you that clean, even look. And it also has, like it said, this velvety feel. I don't know how to explain it, but it is so beautiful. It's my go-to and it's HEMA free. Then we cure for 60 seconds and I've put on my cuticle oil and I am done. I love this. I think it came out so cute. It's not in your face for Christmas, but it's just enough sparkle and fun and festive. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoy today's Dip Into Kindness story. I know I haven't done it in a while, but honestly, this story is for you. It's for my little DIY community here of people who just find this to be their self-care time. And I am so proud of you if you take that time for yourself because it really is so important. Thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you guys next week and I hope you're having an amazing holiday season.